Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiriawan, and today we're going to talk about the KNF concept magnetic filters. Let's go! Before we continue with today's video, if you are a current subscriber of my channel, welcome back. I hope that you will enjoy today's video and as always, thank you for your support for my channel. If you are a new viewer of my channel, also welcome. I hope that you will also enjoy today's video. If you're into photography, filmmaking, micro photos, camera and lenses, as well as music, home recording, guitar, rock metal, all that kind of stuff. I do those kind of stuff in my channel. So consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more. And now let's continue with today's video. Today, we're going to talk about filters. And when it comes to filters, I hate filters. I know that hate is a strong word, but every time I have to travel with filters, I have to carry all this stuff with me in the back. It's getting heavy, it's getting overwhelming, and I don't enjoy shooting with them. Some of these filters, especially my Grad ND, they can be replicated easily using Lightroom or Photoshop because it's not really that difficult to replicate them. However, there are some things that Photoshop and Lightroom cannot really replicate when it comes to filters. First scenario is ND filters. Well, yes, you can easily replicate ND filters in post-processing by shooting a whole bunch of images taken from the same frame multiple times and then blending them together using Photoshop. However, when I tried them in real life scenario, it's just taking too much time. And also when I got back home and tried to blend them all together in Photoshop, it doesn't always look good enough in my opinion. So I think ND filters is still essential. Second scenario is polarizer. Well, you can partially emulate polarizer effect in Photoshop or Lightroom, especially if you just wanna darken the blue sky or saturate the colors. You don't have to use a polarizer, you can just uh, adjust some settings in Photoshop or Lightroom. However, polarizer can also cut through haze and reduce glare so that it enables you, for example, when you're shooting something that involves water, like a shallow river or a pond or a lake, you can see through the water and see actually what's inside the lake, what's inside the pond or a river, and you cannot easily emulate that using Photoshop or Lightroom. Now, as I showed you earlier, I have a whole bunch of filters for my Micro Four Thirds camera, including this uh, giant honking 100mm filter system that includes this Lee Big Stopper 10 Stop ND filter and this high tech 105mm polarizer, as well as this Grad ND filters that's uh, being attached to my camera using this giant honking 100 millimeter filter holder system from Hitech. You can check out the video about my Micro Fortis accessories to learn more about this filter system. I'm mainly using these filters especially for landscape photography, especially with my Lawa 7.5 millimeter f2 wide angle lens because as I explained earlier, some of these filters cannot be easily replicated using Photoshop and Lightroom. However, look at this guy right here. It's so big, it's so heavy, it's so cumbersome and complicated. They're expensive and it's just overwhelming for me to uh, install and use these filters on the field during travel. And I'm just becoming, you know, tired of using them. One more thing, even though I'm using a 105mm polarizer, which is quite large as you can see, it still vignettes on my Lawa 7.5mm f2. It's not just vignette, it is the actual metal part or the plastic part on the edges of the polarizer that's being recorded on the frame on my photographs. And if it's just a small part on the corners, then it's fine. However, it's taking a significant amount of space in the frame and I have to crop it significantly and it'll become closer to 12mm, which defeats the purpose of using a wide angle lens and that really sucks and that leads us to this guy right here knf concept magnetic filter system so the knf concept magnetic filter system is basically a three in one filter system that consists of a 10 stop ND filter 
a circular polarizer, a UV filter, as well as a base adapter for your lens. Both the UV filter and the base adapter can be screwed on directly into your lenses. And all of these uh, little filters can be stacked on top of each other using magnets, just like this. And like this. What that means is that you can easily take off and put on filters easily or even stack multiple together at the same time. Currently on my Lawa 7.5mm f2, I have this 67mm adapter right here for my KNF Concept magnetic filters. And look at how easy I can attach all of them together. So right here, I have the UV, I have the polarizer, and I have the ND filters all at the same time together here. And I can just take it off and I can just put it on and I can remove individual filters easily. And when you compare it to this giant honking 100 millimeter filter system right here, this looks very small, this looks very lightweight, and it's more convenient to use than this <laughs> giant guy right here. I'm planning to use this KNF Concept magnetic filter system for a future trip to Iceland on around March or April, where I'm going to predominantly take landscape photography pictures using my wide angle lens, Lawa 7 7.5 millimeter as well as a little bit of telephoto landscape photos using my 14 to 140 millimeter lens and this will be very valuable for me for travel and trips like that because this is easier to carry around this is more convenient for me and if there are drawbacks which i'm sure there just a little bit of drawbacks not too much uh they are nothing compared to the hassle of carrying this large honking 100 millimeter filter system right here see it's so lighter it's so smaller it's much more convenient so now let's talk a little bit of my initial impression of using these filters so i've already tried these filters multiple times and do a little bit of testing to each one of them and all of them combined together. And I can find, uh, especially with the ND filters, the 10 stop ND, that there's a little bit of color cast, which is pretty normal for a 10 stop ND filters. Even my giant honking 100 millimeter Lee Big Stopper right here also has color cast, and this is almost double the price of the KNF Concept magnetic filters. So as you can see, uh, you know, this is more convenient and this is bigger and heavier, but they're both produce color cast. Nothing to worry about, the color cast is not really dramatic and you can easily repair that in post-processing. When it comes to sharpness, no surprise, there will be slight drop of sharpness when using these filters because you're just uh, essentially putting a glass in front of your lens and the image quality will degrade a little bit. But that's normal because when I'm using my filter system and even with my Lee uh, Big Stopper filter, they also reduce the sharpness just a little bit. And with the KNF concept, it's the same story. And it's nothing to worry about. It's not a dramatic reduce in sharpness and you can easily correct that in post-processing as well. Same story when you're stacking two filters together, the sharpness will reduce even further, but not by much in my opinion. The sharpness is still within tolerance level for me, so I don't think it's a problem for me. And I'm sure that when I use it later on, when I travel to Iceland, it won't be much of a problem for me, according to my testings. Now let's talk a little bit about vignetting. My Lawa 7.5mm, which in full frame term is 15mm, quite a wide angle focal length, is uh, currently having a 46 to 67mm step up ring, and my KNF concept filters, they are in 67 millimeter. When I'm using individual filters, such as the polarizer by itself, or the ND by itself, there's no vignetting at all that's being produced by the filters. However, if I stack them together, uh, the CPL and the ND together, there will be slight vignette on the corners of the frame. And it's nothing to worry about. It's not as severe as if I'm using my 105 millimeter polarizer with this uh, filter holder system. And you know, it's kind of 
not making sense this is 67 millimeter and this is 105 millimeter and this vignettes more than the smaller one i don't know what happens but that's the case on my lawa 7.5 millimeter so because the vignette is not too dramatic and not too significant i can just crop a little bit and it'll be about eight millimeter eight and a half millimeter not a big problem for me in conclusion, I'm happy to report that I am very pleased with the KNF concept magnetic filter system. I'm happy that I am able to uh, step down from this big honking 100mm filter system into this small cute little 67mm filter system that's lighter, smaller and easier to use and more convenient as well. And although I haven't been able to use the KNF magnetic filter system on a real world usage, Based on my testings, I'm pretty sure that it will perform really well on my future trips and travel. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you find this video to be useful for you. Please comment down below what filters or filter system that you are using on your camera. Please note that today's video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm not sponsored by KNF Concept. I bought these filters myself. And also don't forget to support my small channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. It will really help me a ton to motivate me to keep making this video for you. So that's all. Thank you and goodbye.